we're fastly approaching Valentine's season, so of course, today's video is full of inspiration for Valentine DIYs. For this project, we're going to be using one of the hoop wreaths that you can get at the Dollar Tree. You do get, do get a set of three. I'm going to be using the large one for today's project. I also picked up this yarn at the Dollar Tree. It's a chenille yarn, and I am telling you guys, it is so soft. I wanted to just keep touching it after I got it on the project. I kind of just kept running my fingers through it. Um, if they had feel vision for TV, I would totally have you guys feel this. I'm not kidding. It's so soft. But we're just going to be using a simple macrame knot here and we're just going to put our yarn underneath the wire and then we're going to take the excess yarn, put it through the hole, and then we're going to pull. We're going to get a knot here. I always pull again so that I get a tight knot and then I pull it close together. You can put as much or as little on the hoop as you want. It's really a desired look. Then I took these wood round pieces that I got from Amazon and I'm going to paint an X and an O for hugs and kisses. And I'm just using this really light pink paint from Folk Art and it is chalk paint. Once I get those on and they're dry, I'm going to add these wood pieces right to our hoop on top of our yarn. I'm going to take this pink flower. I don't remember what kind of flower it is, but it did come from the Dollar Tree in their summer collection. So be on the lookout for their spring and summer flowers, which should be coming out soon. I'm going to add it here into the middle of these wood rounds. And then I have some lamb's ear from Walmart. I just took a couple pieces of the lamb's ear, put one on each side. This gives it such a romantic look and I absolutely fell in love with this project. Definitely my favorite project of the day. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So you guys, guess what? I am almost to 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I never even thought I'd make it to 1,000 subscribers, let alone 10,000 subscribers. So from my heart to yours, I'm so excited. I thank you so much for being here and I definitely couldn't do it without you watching my videos, subscribing to me. So I feel super blessed and I'm so happy that you thought that I was worth that like and subscribe. I want you to know that I just wouldn't be here without you and I feel so grateful for that. So in honor of that and in honor of you, I have decided to donate 10,000 pennies, one penny for each subscriber, and I'm going to donate that money, which ends up being around $100, to a beautiful organization called Enchanted Makeovers. If you've never heard of Enchanted Makeovers, they are a wonderful organization that decorates shelters for women and children, and they do that by taking craft items that people make and donate and decorating them like a true home. I find that so near and dear to my heart since one, I am a crafting channel and two, the name of my channel is a perfect place to start and I can't think of a better place to start over in a place that makes you feel like home. So thank you so much again for being here and as soon as I reach that 10,000 subscriber mark, I will let you guys know and I will send off that check in honor of you and a penny for each one of you. Now let's get back to the video. For this project, we're going to start out with cutting some ribbon. So this red and white checked ribbon came from, I think, at the Dollar Tree. We're going to cut it in half because I don't want such a big piece. The uh, mesh ribbon behind it also came from the Dollar Tree. We're going to cut that in half, and then we're going to crisscross them and make a shabby bow. So I took one of the pieces of our white and red checked ribbon, and I'm going to tie that in the middle to tie off our bow. I love to do this technique. I do it all the time on my channel. So if you've watched me for a while, you know this, and you know it's coming. <laughs> so we're going to take this wood piece from Hobby Lobby and this was from a previous project that I did in the fall but it's just a wood piece that I covered with some cashew chalk paint and I added a old jean pocket to the front. So I had these felt hearts from Hobby Lobby last year. I just added a couple of red ones to the pocket and then I'm going to add this white one on the outside where I previously had some ribbon. I absolutely love this project. I love using jeans. I've used jeans in several projects so this just seemed right and I absolutely love how it turned out. So 
So for this project, we're going to take one of these wooden boxes from Dollar Tree. We're going to go ahead and remove the label from the bottom. Sometimes those labels come off really easy and sometimes they don't. Today was a lucky day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cover the box with that light pink folk art chalk paint. And then I'm going to use some stickers from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to spell out the word love notes. So if you don't have stickers, you could definitely use vinyl, stencils, you could handwrite it. I do know that Hobby Lobby just about every other week has their stickers on sale for about 40% off so they are a good deal when you can get them on sale. Once I get my love notes written on there I'm going to take some more of my burlap uh, fabric ribbon and I made a shabby bow. I'm just going to add that to the top and it makes it so much cuter and just gives it such a romantic feel. I also took some more of that ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around our box. Um, I just love the polka dots on this ribbon and I love how this turned out but that is it for this project. You could either put notes in it already and give it to your significant other for Valentine's Day or maybe your kids or you could leave it out and everyone could put love notes in it for the month of February. I don't know. It's so cute and just gives you all of the love of vibes. So a while ago, Target Dollar Spot had these houses and I bought several packages of them. I am finally getting down to the last of my packages. I covered them with some white folk art chalk paint. I took the pink folk art chalk paint and I dry brushed on there and then I have this Dollar Tree heart and I went ahead and covered that with the pink chalk paint as well. So I'm going to hot glue the heart to the, the middle house here. It is going to serve as the O in our word love and I just thought that this was so fitting because you have love at home and that's kind of where I was going with it. So I'm going to go ahead and use these poster letters from Dollar Tree. I love these poster letters. They work really well and they definitely are an option if you don't have a vinyl cutting machine. So I made another shabby bow with my burlap fabric ribbon with the polka dots, definitely one of my favorite ribbons. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that where the little hole was. Here's what it turned out looking like. I absolutely love it. It's so romantic and kind of girly looking. You guys let me know what you think about this one. So we're going to start this project by gluing some burlap hearts down to a Dollar Tree canvas. I'm pretty sure these hearts came from Dollar Tree as well. If they didn't, then they probably came from Hobby Lobby. But we're going to glue them in an odd number. So we're going to start with three and then I'm going to use some twine and I'm going to glue that twine at the bottom of the heart. This is going to serve as like a balloon uh, string. So I'm trying to go for a grouping of balloons here. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you think this project was successful. So I'm just going to do this at an angle because I want the twine pieces to come together at the bottom like they're in a group of balloons. I'm using some twine that came from the Dollar Tree. Once I get that glued on, then I'm going to take two more hearts and I'm going to glue those on top of my twine pieces. It ends up looking like these hearts are part of the string there as well. I originally added an extra string there like for the other two hearts, but I don't think that it's necessary at all. You're just going to glue these hearts on top and then you still get the cute string effect. Once I have them glued on to the canvas, then I took some ribbon. This came from Dollar Tree and I just made an awareness bow. I'm going to put one at the bottom of each heart and this is just going to be kind of like the bottom of the balloon tied with some ribbon. Then I put a ribbon at the very bottom for the grouping of balloons as well. Then I decided it needed a little bit more something so I added these white buttons to the middle. I think it's pretty adorable. You guys let me know if this was a successful project down in the comments. Alright my friends, we made it to the end of the video. If you want to keep on crafting with me and doing Valentine DIYs, then watch this video next. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!